get in your face. For sure, and already we have our next match up. It's gonna be Days versus Razo on Pokemon Stadium 2. And I asked Razo uh, just before the tournament started, I'm like, oh, you, you really still wanna use Daisy after, uh, you know, after the discovery, which is that uh, Peach's dirt turnips actually do more knockback across the board. And his response to that was like, hey, Daisy has better combos. And when you think about it, like having a lower knockback on your turnip means that you're gonna have a better combo game off of the turnips. And then Peach, uh, on the other hand, will be able to kill easier, so have some better edge guarding, better gimping tool with her turnips. It, it's all determined by the growth. Daisy has better knockback base knockback, but Peach has better growth. But uh, yeah, Daisy still has really good elements to her. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, wait, how come every other Echo Fighter gets to be different, but these characters don't? Like, nah, it's gotta be something. So I'm glad that somebody figured that out. Sure. And already Razo pulling ahead with a smallish lead here, 97 to 72. It's definitely nothing to stop by. I mean, Falco has kill confirmed on deck. Last night we saw Larry Lur just making work with the up tilt to the back air, up tilt to up air. There's the up tilt to back air, nearly killing Razo off the side. Yeah, that back air is so chunky. Okay, and he does die actually. I'm not quite sure what happened. He didn't have a jump or what. It looked like he was uh, close enough to up B, but he didn't even try. Mm. Right, getting back on. Nice. I like the down air to pressure the uh, Firebird from Falco and using the retreating back air to get the stage spike and kill off of uh, Daze. It's definitely untackable. Yeah, you know, Falco has a really uh, linear recovery. It's, it's really nice when you have something like turn it and kind of just throw it at him. Yeah, it's so it's, it's going to be on the Falco player, in this case Daze, to uh, mix up his recovery options. And, and Firebird is really linear, but what isn't linear is uh, Falco's movement in the air. He has the best double jump in the game, or I should say the highest double jump in the game. Uh, so he can mo more often than not just use double jump. Wait, oh, so yep. three wow. in a row! Yeah. I mean, those, those last two, I don't even think were necessary. The last one definitely wasn't necessary. But it was just target practice. Like, can I do, do it this? anyways? Can I do this later? <laughs> that was some really good uh, accuracy. Nice! Oh. Oh. All right, Dave's trying to send a message. Oh, he's really low. Ooh. The parasol? Oh, dude, you try to get him with the parasol all the way back down again. That was some next oh, level. God. Oh, God! Hello, Days. Let's go. <laughs> you see Putting Daze Razo laughing. in the Daze. <laughs> up tilt. Okay, double up tilt. Try to get the frame trap with, uh, off the air dodge. Uh, with a grab on landing, but he actually uh, grabbed the wrong way. Okay, that's getting a little bit of damage on Falcon's shield here. Yeah, I like the patience that I see. I like the patience that I see. I think uh, Dave could uh, do oh, yeah, the, the, the dot. I think we're okay. Nice reflector. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Using it as a uh, up to get off of the ledge. It does have a nice little hitbox. I really like this down. I think we could see some more cross-ups from Dave. It seems like Razo's got this, this whole neutral like, down pat. Like he knows exactly how he's going to be approaching. See right there, didn't even need to use his up B to recover. He's double jumping straight to the ledge. Up tilt. Can, that, what a frame trap! That's gonna be wow. not quite enough. That was a rage filled Falco. Hello, man. Yeah, rage not quite as strong in this game as it was in Smash 4, so I'm not totally surprised, but oh. I, I was just like so scared for Razo. He was whiff. gonna clean it up with the forward air. That whiff punish. And you know, like, I. I don't want to say for sure, I'm not entirely sure, but I think Falco got the sour spot of his back air. I think you might be right. And I think that's why that didn't kill, because Falco's back air is incredibly strong. That was such a close game, right? right? Yeah. But like, looking really scary for Raza. Raza, who is easily one of the like top contenders at this tournament. Um, you know, multiple PRs in Smash 4, and definitely like looking like he's going to be on the ultimate one. Here's yeah. the thing, though. Razo, I feel like, had the advantage so much more, but it was Daze hit him with the stocks that mattered. Like, in the, in, he had such clutch stocks. In it. So I want to see if he's going to be able to recreate that in this game number two. Um, definitely. I mean, I'm not going to count him out, but the thing is, Razo has an entire game to really pick up on the tri tricks that Daze might have. That's true. Yeah, it's a really big part in set play. Wow. But it's not looking like Razo uh, is showing any sort of adaptation, or uh, it might be just the other way around. In fact, Days with a solid lead here, 113 percent to 59. Uh oh. Uh, I was like, that looked intentional, You're but unfortunate. Yeah. There's no way he really wanted to like let go of the ledge and drop down. Like yeah, he didn't that. want to drop down, but I think he wanted to do that fantastic again. 
probably like onto the stage. Maybe, yeah, onto the stage for sure. There's a Lord Air, okay, dragging him down into the down tilt. The shield coming up just in time for Rosso. Nice. What he's not gonna do is get up off of Ledge in time and he's gonna lose that first stock to the forward snap. Wow, I've never seen someone get off of the, the invulnerability platform so quickly and get back into the act. Yeah, and I mean, it like really behooves you to do that in this game because the longer you sit on that angel platform, uh, the less invincibility that you have once you get off of it. So if, if you just sit there and wait the entire time, I think you have like a second, less than a second of invincibility. Yeah, you definitely want to get back into the ground as soon as possible. Uh -oh, okay, Ross has got a stitch eye in hand. What a perfect timing as well. Oh, oh, and he caught it, man, off a single turn up. Oh, oh. Z drop, he got it again. That shield's looking small. That thing did exactly what it was made to do. Dude. Already off the stage. Dude. Look at this. Oh. Yeah, Razo, hello. And just like that, after losing the first stock, pulling a Stitch Eye immediately after taking Daisy's first stock and bringing this comeback all the way around. Yeah, this is definitely one of those days. Oh, boy. Okay, hey, speaking of days, someone's getting back into it. Yeah, keep, like, it would be really nice if Daisy were able to just keep Razo off the edge there. Oh. But he always seems to lose it as soon as he sends him. Take it back there. Oh, I really like that catch with the upper as well. Okay, okay, this is what I'm talking about. He's actually keeping Razo out. This is good. Yeah, Papa definitely uh, has really good tools to do so. I mean, he has great aerials, and that's usually the space that uh, Peach and Daisy want to occupy is uh, the aerial space with her float. So if you can jump out and meet her in the air to air. Oh, God, tech. beautiful tech. Oh, yeah. Razo really bet it all on that one. At least sure. for that stock. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, he had a stock to work work with, able to drop down from the angel platform, use his invincibility, get a forward air, and take it with a JV too. So really good stuff from Razo, and really good stuff from Days as well, who certainly impressed me. Yeah. Despite uh, never having seen him before, so really cool stuff to see fresh new faces Same coming here. out here and making a statement. Man, it's, it, it wasn't it wasn't a total fluke. I mean, each a. It, Showing that game one wasn't a total fluke, right? Yep. Like, both of those games were down to the wire. Yeah. I mean, a little less so in game number two, but it, it was last stock. Yeah, Anything Razo's, can happen. Uh, Razo's no joke. And uh, like you said, Daze is also somebody that I have uh, never met before. So that was actually yeah. pretty good. And I like Falco. That was awesome. I, 